right, guys, I have tons of stuff in front of me right now. Yes, I am filming another Dollar Tree haul. I feel like I've been posting them like crazy lately, but oh my God, my camera does not want to stay. But with the holidays coming around, this is when I tend to live at Dollar Tree. Um, and I got so much good stuff. And I feel like I say that in every haul, but literally I could not pass this stuff up. So let's just go with the quick, easy things quick. So easy to give people fuzzy socks. Did I not mention it probably in the title. It's going to be a lot of like stocking stuffers, gifts for Christmas. So I literally bought tons of different colors. This is the Dollar Tree brand. It's Snugadoo. I love giving these in gift baskets or gifts. A lot of, I tell you guys all the time, I do a lot of coffee mug gifts. I'm going to see if I can film some this year to show you guys and i will literally like roll this up put a little packet of hot cocoa put it in the mug gift is done this is perfect for a little like secret santa gift co-worker gift white elephant but i got this red sparkly pair i grabbed the black and white buffalo check pink and white buffalo check red and black buffalo check but i will say there are some differences with these so this one and this one are the everyday socks you see all year round. They usually have these more in the winter, though, because it is the fuzzy socks. They had these last year. These are new, not because of the print, but because of the feet. Can you guys see those little, like, rubber pieces? I don't know if that's rubber, silicone, whatever it is. These are to make them no-slip socks. So I was so ecstatic when I saw these at Dollar Tree. And they also came out with a different, another different pair of socks the low socks like if you're wearing like low top shoes or slip-on shoes so I said oh my god I have to pick these up so they definitely branching out so I literally grabbed everything I could find I love this one for say it looks like knitted like the texture I love it so I just grabbed a buttload of socks because like I said they make perfect little stocking stuffers this is super random, but I show you guys everything I buy. I grabbed just because this sounded so good, and they don't usually have watermelon th flavor things in the winter, but it's crushed watermelon. So I'm gonna pop that in the fridge because I like my drinks ice cold. And then let me see, let me show you more stocking stuff for stuff. So that's what I said for this video. But there's even like some stuff that would make cute for charcuterie boards. Like there is tons of good stuff at Dollar Tree right now. I grabbed these two. I am I thinking about giving this as a Christmas gift to my case kid at the school because she loves Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. Or I might just bring it to the school and she can just color them throughout the month of December. It's like december 6th today not sure when i'm posting this hopefully soon i've been a little behind but i'm slowly catching up but there's 14 different posters in here can you guys see that 14 14 for only a dollar and it comes with a pack of markers so this one is all mickey mouse based it shows you all the different posters in the back you do have one with donald duck and one with goofy here and this one is all mickey base and it shows you all these in the back but how cute would these to be to give your kids your grandkids nieces nephews baby cousins like such a cute idea for only a buck to throw in with their gift especially if you don't live in the same state and you're sending them like a care package this is nice and light with a large quantity this is actually perfect for that and then I always grab these all year round, but I do think they make a really good, uh, I want to say socking stuffers, but obviously this is really big. You'd have to like roll it up uh, or gift baskets. If you make gift baskets, these are the spot, the difference. I love these. These are more definitely for older. Like I would, I want to say adult, but my brother stepson is eight years old and he is obsessed with these, but they're not as easy as like the kitty ones that we used to get in like highlight magazine. It does take a little bit for you to spot the difference. And there is 17 different puzzles. It says it in the back and there's even a scoring chart on the top. So these are the two pictures for you to compare. And then it will literally say there is eight differences. And if you guys can see, there's eight different boxes. So you can check off as you find it to keep track. I love these. Super nice activity for the winter because I don't go out as much in the winter. So I have like a whole basket in my craft room with like different activity books. You know, word searches, crosswords, Sudoku, spot the difference. And again, perfect to throw in a stocking or a gift basket. This is going to be a Christmas gift for joe's baby cousin she loves disney princesses they always have regular you know 
uh, coloring books at Dollar Tree. But this was the first time I had seen a giant coloring book. I don't know if you guys can tell the size of this. It is huge. I don't think I have a normal coloring book. to. Co well, okay. A normal coloring book would be about this size. So this is literally double the size. Um, and it has activities in it as well. So it's not just coloring pages. There's a bunch of different activities in here. Um, like which one, which picture is different and shadow match. And so I think she's going to get a kick out of this. I got, she loves anything art related. I got her, I made her a whole art basket. It's up on my channel. If you guys want to see that, I have like a whole gift basket playlist. And I'm, um, I got her like a sketchbook and pencil, colored pencils, markers, crayons. It was a huge basket of all Dollar Tree products in there. And she was obsessed with this. She literally came up to me on Thanksgiving. She showed me her sketch pad and she's like, look at all the things I've been drawing. So I decided to buy her a really cool um, light up tracing board from Crayola for her Christmas gift. It's coming in. I ordered it. So I figured to go with that, I would give her the giant coloring book. And then I was going to give her these along with it. And that is her Christmas gift. I thought it was really cute because it has the princess theme. Technically, she doesn't need this many packs of crayons, but it matches. It's perfect, so I can't help myself. This one is 24 crayons, and you can see it is literally like all the Disney princesses. You literally have Jasmine, Ariel, Mulan, Belle, uh, Moana, Cinderella. Is that it? Yeah, okay. So it repeats those six um princesses with all the colors and there's 24 in here for a buck that's really well priced and then this one is a three pack of eight so it's eight 16 24 so same it's 24 but like let's say you have three kids you need to gift this to you could rip this up give up each one eight pack but i am going to give it just like this i thought this would be perfect to go with her princess theme so this one has jasmine mulan and belle this one has rapunzel cinderella and Mulan, I said Mulan, no, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, there's two Mulans, <laughs> two Bells, because we got a Bell, another Jasmine, and an Ariel. So I thought this would be perfect to incorporate with her gift. And then I showed her, showed it then, but to go with the Mickey and Minnie felt posters I showed you guys before, I figured I would give this to my case kit as well. It is the same concept, but with Minnie Mouse, except instead of 24 crayons, this one is actually 10 crayons. But it's a bunch of different Minnie Mouses and there's a Daisy Duck as well. And then they have the same concept here with the three pack of eight count crayons. And you got Minnie and Daisy and some Minis here. So that is going to be a very cute little Christmas gift for my case kid and Joe's baby cousin. And then this, oh, I could not pass up. Um, I don't have anyone like in my family that plays with dolls that I can think of. I have either like baby, baby cousins or like about to be teen cousins, which care more about iPads right now than they do um, dolls. So I think I'm gonna donate to the school or I can hold on to it, we will see. Um, but these are dollhouse activity kits. I thought this was absolutely amazing for a dollar. I have never seen anything like this before. But guys, this is actually Dollar Tree brand. So this could pop up at your Dollar Tree. There is four different scenes and I was able to find all four scenes. So basically this is a piece of cardboard and this one says bedroom. So it gives you the bedroom scene. You get the bed, you get the two pillows, you get the nightstands. And basically... It comes with sticker sheets so she, you, the person can like decorate their bedroom with the stickers and basically you fold it open because it, it has like a trifold to it so it'll stand up and you play your dolls in front of it. So they have the bedroom, they have the living room, they have the office, if you have a working Barbie, and then they have the kitchen. So I thought these were absolutely perfect especially considering it comes with the sticker sheets as well. This is amazing. Like this and a doll, boom, that could be someone's Christmas present. I could not leave that in the store, even if I end up just donating it to the school or something. And then, oh, this also for my case kid, I think I'm going to bring. This is the Alphabet Learning Workbook. She knows her alphabet, but we, we are working on um, sentences because she has a hard time leaving spaces between her words. We are working on that. So I thought this would be really just cool to have at the school for her, which has some downtime. 
in between lessons and all that stuff she could literally just work on copying her letters and putting space between her words so i just thought this was really cool for only a buck they had a math version too and they had a bunch of different ones this one is specifically for letter recognition it says large lines for printing and fun learning activities and it's disney <laughs> um, sorry it's mini but it's from disney jr and then this I got for her as well. This has 10 pages in it. And comes again with the set of markers. This one is all Mickey. You got five markers. You get red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. And this shows you all the posters in the back that you would get. This is really cool too. Like if she's going to go on a long car ride. Or even like to carry around the classroom. Because it has to go with handles. That's really cool. If you're taking a long trip. Going on a trip and you're going on a plane or in a car this is kind of perfect because they can carry it with them and he says on the go hidden picture set so either <laughs> i'll give it to her for in class or she'll take it or i'll sorry give it to her as a christmas present i apologize i haven't filmed in a little bit so and when that, that happens and i start to film again and then i get super excited i trip over my words i'm like choking over here uh then i grab some diy ornament kits because we're always doing activities with the kids I literally just got them the wooden ones that you like paint or color in with marker. I got them the trees and the snowflakes. We actually did that today in class. So a good thing I picked up these. You can do this another day now that those are gone. We're always looking for little activities to do with them. And each one comes with, what, five? So there's 15 here. And we have nine kids. So some will have two, I guess. Some will have one. But this one makes gingerbread men. This one makes Santa Claus. And this one makes a snowman. Oh, they had a penguin one and I put it back. Why did I put it back? That, I meant to buy it. I, then I was like, okay, there'll be 20 with nine kids. They can each have two. Oh, I don't know if I'll find it again. Things have been flying off the shelves, especially Christmas. Especially with, I don't know if you guys heard, everything's going up to $1.25 soon. People have been grabbing stuff while it's a dollar. But it comes with all the felt pieces you need. And you would just glue it on or sticky tape it on or whatever. So I'm going to bring that to the school. Oh, I knew I had another spot, the difference. So these are different volumes. So I usually just go by the cover. Some of them will say like volume one, volume two. This one, I don't think it says it. But if you look through this, the puzzles are different. So this is one and this is the other one. I love that this one has like shakes on it. So again, cute little stocking stuff or just like activity for you to do in the winter because we all got more downtime in the winter. I mean, at least if you live in a place where the climate is colder. These I got for one of the kids in the school too. She loves like stickers and reading and stuff like that. So I thought this was perfect. It's This one is My Dress Up Friend, My Dress Up Buddy, and My Dress Up Princess. So it's a My Dress Up collection. I am not sure how many there is. Usually in the back it'll say like collect me all and it says how many. It does not. But these are Dollar Tree brand and basically... It's um has it's a it's activity book, uh, um where you do stickers. So, it ha she has like different templates. This is the same head on the top, but there's different templates here. So you, different like princess dresses basically, and then there's stickers in the front, right here if you guys can see, and you would just stick it on. So I'm gonna bring this to her tomorrow. She is going to be obsessed and love it. So this is the princess version. And then, like I said, there's a buddy version. So I love that it's a man and of course he's working. The girls are a princess. <laughs> there's literally like a doctor, a suit, a policeman and a fireman. Cause you know, a woman can't be a policeman or a fireman or a cook or a doctor but whatever same concept don't mind me um that's one thing about kid toys sometimes that piss me off so you have all different images here to play around with and you have like a blank canvas here and this one like it's the shirts there but you're missing the hockey puck so you get all the stickers in the front to fill in those spaces so see you have like the suit one here you have the policeman, the doctor. So I thought this was really, really cute. Uh, the last one is oh, my dress up friend. And this one is a girl. And of course, it's not careers, right? No, it's just different outfits because girls like to dress up. Uh, 
can you sense my sarcasm here uh so yeah so you have here like she's in a raincoat so you got to put a raincoat sticker here she's wearing her outfit but she's missing her scarf she's ice skating this one she's building a snowman you need to give her an entire outfit and there's all different stickers so here's like raincoat sticker um Oh, there's a rainbow. That's cute. And there's their scarf right there. And these are just all different outfits to put on her. So I cannot wait to bring that to the school tomorrow. She is going to be obsessed with that. I grabbed one cleaning product. This was absolutely amazing. This is not a Dollar Tree product. Um, expires 11-1-2023. So it still has two years worth here. There is 160 wipes. And it is glass plus streak free advanced formula. So this is like to wipe down mirrors, windows, anything that's glass, basically. Instead of using Windex, you just grab a wipe. So I am definitely going to keep this under my bathroom sink my biggest pet peeve is cleaning the mirrors so i'm going to see how this works if you guys want an update when i use this because obviously i haven't used it yet uh definitely comment down below and i will respond or i can do it on my instagram i always link my instagram down below but this was an amazing price 160 wipes for a buck i knew i was gonna scoop that up and like i said i do have things oh i said a charcuterie board well yeah i guess it could be a charcuterie board i was but i usually just think hot cocoa bar because i do make a hot cocoa bar around this time of year um but i'm sure i might make one for a charcuterie board for christmas we'll see and i love getting dollar tree items for that so i grabbed this peppermint bark right here because this looks beautiful in either a charcuterie board or a hot cocoa bar i'm gonna open it to show you it's gorgeous on the inside i had never seen it before but a crafty girl i'm always talking about her she opened it and was like this is going to look gorgeous so look at that you get the white chocolate you get literally crushed up peppermint pieces and then you get the bark chocolate piece in the back this you can either cut in pieces leave it on the charcuterie board or in a hot cocoa bar this is a perfect selection you can even use this as a syrup so i literally grabbed i think like one two three four five six seven eight of them gonna have to put this in like a sandwich bag to keep it fresh but i was like that is going to look so good for that so i was like i have to grab them when she showed them so i was so happy when i ran to my dollar tree and they have them so there it is right there they have like a big peppermint bar that also looks cute too it's just the standard like white and red marble but this one with the actual crushed peppermint pieces you can legit smell the candy cane i thought that was amazing and then i am making some um this is also good for a hot cocoa bar. I am going to probably be throwing this in mugs because, like I said, I do a lot of mug gifts. So with, like, the rolled-up socks, a hot cocoa packet, pop this in there. I literally bought two white mugs from Dollar Tree with red writing on them. I think one says Elf something, Santa's Little Helper. I don't know. So I think the white and red mug with a white and red peppermint stick is going to look so good. And then I grabbed some DVDs. They've been having like a very decent DVD section lately. So I grabbed Don John. I'm pretty sure I've seen this before. It's fairly older. Of course, it's gonna be like older movies. Uh, I love Scarlett Johansson. I love Julianne Moore. And I love, I never know how to say his name, Joseph Gordon Levitt. So I was like, wow, for only a buck, I'll watch it again. So I grabbed that. And then this I've never seen before, but it looked really cute. It's animated. I love animated films. And it says, welcome to Smellville. So I picked this up. I mean, for like, you get an hour and a half of entertainment, 85 minutes for your kids for a book. Like you can't pass that up. Again, something you can throw in a stocking. Another really good stocking stuffer is these right here. I'm making a little gift basket for my brother. He's obsessed with his car. He loves cars. So it doesn't have to be for a man, obviously. But, you know, it is really hard to sometimes shop for men. So this is perfect. They have a huge auto section with all different things inside of it. So I grabbed the cherry the bubble gum and the mint and it's mentos so i thought that was really cool and then again for my hot cocoa bar i grabbed several of these i guess as i find them i will show it to you i thought i had them in the same bag but you have a little gingerbread man here and you have a snowman i think the other two was an ornament and a christmas tree but i could be wrong when i say i think i bought four this again i could add to a hot cocoa bar or just to my coffee station it's a sugar-free hazelnut flavored syrup dollar tree will have these from time to time i love the sugar-free flavored syrup i usually get them from tj maxx or marshall's or amazon if i don't feel like going into a tj maxx Marshalls. i always sell the jordan syrups if you guys know what i'm talking about this i grabbed because 
I love cotton candy and they always have like fruity cotton candies, but I've never seen vanilla flavored cotton candy. I was like, oh my God, I have to try that. I absolutely love vanilla and I love cotton candy. So I want to try that. I also grabbed this. It's Warheads Ooze Chews. I love sour candy. Warheads are a very good sour candy. This one is two flavors. It's Merry Cherry and Jolly Apple. So you can see like there's a red rope and a green rope, but it said it oozes. So there's some kind of like juice in here. Mm. I'm gonna try that. Also grab sweet tarts. Dollar Tree will have, I mean sweet tarts, candy canes. Dollar Tree will have tons of different candy canes around this time of year. I grabbed the sweet tart version. And does it say the flavors of these? Just cherry, all right. I wasn't sure. Yeah, cause all six are the same. There's not really different colors. They're all different colors in each one. And then again, a good, another little good stocking stuffer. Um, I wanted to see this movie. I haven't seen it yet. Onward. This came out like I think right when COVID hit. So it ended up going straight to Disney Plus and never got to see it in theater. My plan was obviously to see it in theater. Um, and it is jumbo playing cards. So these are perfect for younger kids because they are jumbo. They're not um, like regular standard size cards. I don't know if you guys can tell already from the box how much bigger it is compared to like a regular card. And it's just all the different little characters for only a buck. You can't beat it. So I picked these up and then this, uh, this is good. Like, like I said, for my cousins who are like more teen, like 10, 11 years old, this is a screen cleaner because God knows they have screens. They have iPads, they have laptops, they have cell phones. And it's so cute because it looks like a dog. I mean, I would even use this and you literally just put your hand in it. It's a mitt, it has an opening and you like wipe down your phone. Super duper cute. And microfiber is really good for cleaning off dust. So I thought that was wicked cute. I grabbed a pack of mechanical pencils. This is for my case kid at the school. Always pick up mechanical pencils from there. I grabbed, like I said, I make, I'll, oops, I make a lot of gift basket gifts. So I could not pass up this gift basket. Especially because it has handles. It's rare you find ones that have handles. And then it's really cute because it looks like, you know, Santa's belt. So I grabbed, there's some items in here. Um, let me show you what I got here. I got the shreds to put in the gift basket. So I got two bags of just red shred. And then I grabbed this big bow because I'm gonna put a, you know, uh, a basket bag around it and the bow on the top. And then, all right, that's everything with the basket. And then the stuff that was inside the basket is I grabbed a pair of these socks. These are foot liner socks. You get three pairs here. So I thought that was awesome for only a dollar. Uh, it says it has the comfort band. It's no show, stays on all day and ultra soft. These are perfect when I'm going out somewhere fancier and I'm just wearing a pair of flats or something and I don't want to go completely barefoot. So I grabbed that. I grabbed googly eyes because we're always using these when we do crafts with the kids. We made a bunch of like, different Halloween crafts and we went through all our googly eyes. Again, good for crafting. I grabbed a bunch of felt letters. I might even make a sign for my hot cocoa bar that says hot cocoa bar. And instead of me painting which can come out messy. I thought this one might be a lot easier. I also grabbed some sharpeners for the school. This is the reason I got the mechanical pencils because my case kid likes to break her pencil on purpose because she loves to go sharpen it. So I'm, I, I've, I'm gonna try two different things to negate that because she needs to get to work. She can't keep going up to the sharpener every three seconds. So I figured either a mechanical pencil or I will hold this with me and that way it kills less time and I feel like it won't be as fun for her because she likes the electric sharpener. So I grabbed the mechanical pencils and I grabbed the little sharpeners. And then this is for one of those coffee mug gifts. My boyfriend's girlfriend loves Andy's Canties and I'm making her a little coffee mug gift. I think I'm going to film it, but I probably can't post it till after Christmas. That's what sucks because some of these people I'm giving gifts to do watch my channel. Um, but I'm going to put this inside her mug with her gift. I grabbed a desk calendar because, you know, the new year is coming. We need them. So I can start fresh January 2022. I also grabbed this. This I got specifically for charcuterie boards. It is chalkboard tag clothespins. I figured I could write the different, like, dips and cheeses and stuff and like maybe like clip it to the board somehow or if it's like in a bowl i can clip it to the bowl figure that's always good to have on hand all right we are on the last bag i grabbed some of these garland ties because this is perfect to get your garland to where you want it to be if it's like going around a pole 
um, you know, like in the outside area, or if you want to add more to your tree to make it look more fuller, not like a full size tree, but little tabletop trees that I also got it for that too, because I have a little like four footer from Target that was $5, but it's very sparse. It's like a Charlie Brown tree. So I thought this might help fill in some gaps. Might also use it to put my garland around my staircase. Instead of using like black duct tape or whatever, this blends in more and you literally, it works like a twisty tie. It just looks like a tree branch. You literally just twist it around. And then I grabbed two of these. I have one in my backpack right now. So this is where I keep like my extra masks. And then in the pockets here, I put like a hand sanitizer. It helps keep my bag organized, my masks clean. But the zipper broke the other day. I mean, it is a Dollar Tree product, but it lasted me quite a while. I had it all last school year. So I was like, you know, and I've never seen the white. The white is new. I usually either have black or red. So I grabbed two of the white just to have as backup. And this might even end up being like a little gift for somebody. I can fill it with things and give it to them this way. That's really cute. I grabbed this piece. They also had a Mary, but the Y was like reindeer antlers. And I'm just not a big fan of that look. It's more like farmhouse to me. And I'm not very farmhouse. Not that I don't like the look. Because some people's houses look amazing farmhouse. It's just not my personal style. But I liked it the piece. And I liked that the A had a Christmas tree. So I'm going to try to find some time to paint this. I have a lot going on. You guys will hear an announcement soon, I'm hoping. Oh, I knew it. So I got the same socks. I got the black version and the nude version. So the nude's really good if you want it to blend in more. Although the black will look fine if you're wearing black shoes. But if I'm not wearing black shoes, the nude is definitely perfect. So you get three pairs here for only a dollar. You can't beat that. Oh, and then I grabbed an electric sharpener. This is for me, for my house. I couldn't believe they had electric sharpeners for only a buck. You just add two batteries and boom. So I thought that would be perfect. I grabbed the green paint to paint the peace sign. I don't know if I'm going to do it all green or just the tree. I haven't really decided yet. I have paint to home, but I wasn't sure if I had green. Oh, and I grab retractable card holders because I have a badge for work. And I bought a three pack, but I gave two away. And the one I had ended up breaking. So I was like, I'll buy a three pack and hold on to them just in case as backup. I grabbed a little Bible. This is going to be for my boyfriend. It's kind of a joke, like, oh, you need the Bible. But he does actually really enjoy the Bible. So it's just really nice because it's like a little, you know, like handheld one. He can keep this in his car or in his lunch bag at work or whatever. And then I grabbed up some books, some kids' books and some regular, uh, one regular book I'll show you. These are going to be for my baby cousin. This is, I when I asked her mom what she wanted, she's literally going to be two in January. And her mom's like, she's been obsessed with books right now. She will just open the pages. She has one that has animals. And if it's a cow, she'll move. If it's a pig, she'll say oink. So I was like, yes, I thought it was so cute because they look like puzzle pieces. So they're very simple. So it's perfect for her age right now. And this one just says school. So it has school supplies, crayons, pencils, books. It says collect them all. So apparently there is one, two, three, four, five, six of them. I only found three. So they have school spring shapes, ocean animals, transportation, and forest friends. I found school shapes and transportation. So I'm going to add this to her little uh, Christmas gift. And then I just grabbed one book for myself, Smarter Next Year, The Revolutionary Sci Science for a Smarter, Happier You. Why not? We could all use some happiness in our life. And it was only a book. And there is like pictures in it too. Not that I need that because I actually do really enjoy to read. And it says, jeans don't control you. You're in oh, jeans don't control your intelligence. You do. So just to get smarter and happier. Why not? It says that this helps with increasing memory and IQ at any age. So and my grandmother does have dementia, so it can't hurt to keep this brain going. That's why I like doing like little activities, like little spot the difference and stuff and word searches instead of just zoning out in front of a TV all the time. I especially got into them during quarantine because I just like, I was sick of just TV shows at that point because I was watching so many. But that is everything from this Dollar Tree haul. Wow, I made it under half hour. <laughs> I was talking very quickly. I hope that wasn't too bad for you guys. But um, my shorter videos do do better. But I had a lot of good stuff I really wanted to show you guys. You guys tell me if any of this is on your list. If there's anything that I showed you that you really want to find for a stocking stuff or for Christmas. I really hope you guys enjoy my videos. If you do, give the video a thumbs up. It helps the YouTube alg algorithm. It helps me know that you enjoy my videos. I know I do a lot of Dollar Tree hauls, but it's literally one of my favorite stores. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the price increase. I don't I don't think it's ridiculous a dollar 25 but i might honestly shop there a little less save myself some money because i don't know what this haul cost me but I'm sure it cost me a decent chunk and then it's not even about the money it's like finding space for things 
um this is a receipt but it was only 20 something this is like a this might be like two or three trips that i've been holding on to um but th this is going to be a lot of gifts what's in front of me it's not all for me oh there was one more pack of like these 3d stickers they're floral i thought they were absolutely beautiful for my journaling so i scooped them up but that is it like i said comment down below if there's anything in this haul that really amazed you you want to keep your eye out for like the video if you like me like dollar tree like i said it helps the youtube algorithm definitely consider subscribing if you like dollar tree hauls i do tons of them i do tons of unboxings as well i'm mostly an unboxing hauling channel but like i said i do have a big announcement coming soon so things will be changing soon i promise i know i've been saying that for a while you will understand when i do that announcement video so subscribe hit the notification bell if you're interested in anything else from me guys be safe